My name is Andy Sway, and I'm a healer and hypnotist in New York City. Uh, the title of this video is Forget About Entities. Um, if you want to find out more about my healing services, you can go to andysway.com, A-N-D-Y-S-W-A-Y.com, or email me at andysway at yahoo.com. Anyway, today I want to talk about this idea of I have an entity attachment. First of all, let me be very clear. I am not saying there are no entities and they cannot be attached. What I am saying is that the idea for 99% of the people of clearing some kind of entity attachment is a form of victim mentality that is not useful in your own healing process. In order to attach to any kind of entity, whether it is physical or non-physical, my point is that you have to be in energetic resonance with that thing. So what that means is that there are no victims on an energetic level. That's not to say that victimization does not happen, but my point is that there are no victims because you attract what you are the frequency of and you attract that in order to lift your frequency to a higher level. Just like if you have a pain in your body, the pain is not this evil thing that's out to get you. It's something that is there to show you a part of your body that might need some medical attention. Um, so if you attract a so-called entity that gets attached to you, you need to think, what are you attached to? What is the negative energy um, in the forms of beliefs or stuck emotional patterns, grudges, all kinds of things like that, that you're circulating through your system so that you are magnetizing something like an entity? Okay, um, the universe is full of consciousness, and that consciousness is at all different levels. I'll do another thing about that, uh, another video later. But, for example, you have the consciousness of a cell um, in your body. Um, that cell eats and shits and whatever, right? And then you have the consciousness of an organ, and you have the consciousness of the body, and then you have your egoic consciousness, and then you have higher levels of consciousness. Um, in the same way, there are other levels of consciousness that do not have physical bodies, that are non-physical entities. And they come to things that attract them. So, if you think about having entities attached to you. I would say you're actually strengthening the connection. You're making it more real, you're making it more true, and it becomes kind of like a hypochondriac syndrome, where you keep focusing on this, this issue, and it, you actually dig deeper and deeper and deeper into the negativity. So, to me, it's more helpful to think of raising your frequency to a level where this thing cannot attach, um, if it was ever attached in the first place. Um, and how would you do that? Number one, you need to confront your own issues, your own unresolved emotional trauma, pain. You need to look at the things that you're not forgiving about yourself or others, the grudges, the all forms of victim mentality that you might be walking around with. You need to really check into that stuff. And you need to, to either do your own self-healing or work with a healer. I could definitely help you. Um, but, you know, find the kind of person that 
can do the work that resonates with you to raise your frequency. Um, and that means to be less attached to negative things, more in the energy of your own authenticity and your own creativity, and expressing that in your life, hopefully very joyfully. Um, so that's the way that you raise the frequency. And then, and then they have nothing to attach to. It's just like criminals don't want to hang out with nuns. It would be boring, right? Let's say nuns are at a higher frequency. Not so sure about that. But let's say nuns are at a higher frequency than criminals. Um, criminals, you know, if they see some nuns, they're not even going to go hang with them for five minutes. Um, you know, they're probably not even going to rob them, right? Because nuns don't really walk around with a lot of cash, usually, I assume. Um, so, you know, it's just like a non-issue. It's like, it's just nothing. Um, and so, if you raise your frequency to the level where these negative things just have no interest in you, that's what you want. Um, when you get in the drama and you get in the intrigue and... Uh, then then you leave yourself open for that energy to manifest in your life. And it's just like any other energy. Any energy that you partake in, it either brings a similar energy to you or it brings an opposite energy, right? If you're crying, somebody might come up to you and say, I'm sad too, I know how you feel. Similar energy, right? Or if you're crying, you might bring somebody that's happy, that, that is the opposite energy that wants to lift you up. Um, and they want to pull you out of your sadness. Um, so, if you think of it that you're in charge and that you're not a victim when it comes down to it on a, on a kind of soul, metaphysical level, you're not a victim. You're a manifester. And therefore, entities can't attach to you unless you have provided the, the thing for them to attach to. And that thing is usually your unhealed issues. So don't worry about entity attachment. Worry about... The, don't even worry. <laughs> That's just another negative thing, a lower frequency. But... Put effort into raising your frequency, into clearing your issues. And then the issue of entity attachment won't even be a thing in your life. And you'll be one step further to reclaiming the truth of who you really are. Thank you very much.